With the tennis legend hanging up her racket after an amazing 27-year career, fans of tennis and sports alike have been impressed by her legendary achievements on the tennis court. From fellow tennis legends like John McEnroe to the former first lady like Michelle Obama, absolutely nobody has shied away from praising the icon. Today, we'll be focusing on Serena Williams' long and decorated career, shining a light on the accomplishments that made her a household name for so many. First off, she broke barriers. Serena Williams has done a lot for the sport of tennis and achieved what was considered impossible for people from minority communities. It's safe to say that after all is said and done, she serves as an incredible inspiration to everyone. We don't call her a legend for no reason. Williams has won six US Open titles, seven Wimbledons, seven Australia Opens, and eight Miami Masters. But guess what? All of those achievements aren't even the tip of the iceberg when it comes to her astounding career. Serena Williams became the second African-American woman to win a singles Grand Slam title in the Open era. This was during the 1999 US Open where a relatively new on-the-scene Serena Williams took the tennis world by storm. She blazed into the semifinal, defeating Grand Slam champions Kim Klijsters, Conchita Martinez, and Monica Seles in quick succession. In the semis, Serena beat the reigning champion Lindsay Davenport. Then in the final, she beat the number one ranked Martina Hinges to achieve her first Grand Slam singles title. With this, she became the second African-American woman after Althea Gibson to win a Grand Slam singles tournament. Keep in mind, Althea won it back in 1958. Williams was also the third African woman to hold the number one ranking. In 2002 at the Miami Masters, Serena defeated multiple season veterans such as Martina Hinges and the top player, ranked at the time, Jennifer Capriati in the final. This rare feat made her the third player in the Open era to defeat the top three ranked players in a single tournament. Secondly, at the French Open, she beat defending champion Capriati at the semifinals and her sister Venus in the final to win her second Grand Slam singles title. Ranked number two, Sierra then went on to win the 2002 Wimbledon singles title by defeating Venus in the final. This also marked the first time she achieved a Grand Slam singles title without dropping a set. Moreover, her victory at Wimbledon made Serena, the world's number one rated player. Next, she holds the joint record for the longest run as the number one ranked female player. In July 2002, Serena Williams gained the number one position for the first time. In 2014, Serena started off as well as ended the year as the number one ranked player. She thus earned the rare honor of becoming the first player since Steffi Groff in 1996 to hold the number one ranking for an entire calendar year. In 2015, Williams held on to the number one ranking for the entire season for the second consecutive year. In February 2016, Serena surpassed the milestone set by Navro Toliva of 156 to have the second longest run in WTA history behind Steffi Graf's 186. During the week of September 5th, 2016, marked Williams' 186th consecutive week ranked number one equaling Graf's achievement for the longest run in WTA history. To summarize, she's been number one ranked for 319 weeks, which puts her third among females in the open era behind Graf and Navratilova. Graf held onto the position for 377 weeks, while Navratilova clenched onto it for 332 weeks. Next, we have to mention the dynamic duo. Most tennis fans know that for Serena Williams, being amazing at the sport runs in the family. Not only is Serena a living legend of the game, but some would also say she takes after her sister, Venus Williams, with whom she started her career with. Both sisters developed a passion for the sport at an early age and were trained by their dad. It would only make sense that the pair would go on to achieve international stardom together as sisters. Serena has won 14 doubles Grand Slams along with her sister Venus. Venus and Serena have been consistently playing doubles with one another since 1990. Their first taste of success came at the French Open of 1999 when they won a Grand Slam trophy for the first time. Venus was 18 while Serena was 17 during this momentous occasion. By securing the 2001 Australian Open, the two sisters completed the career doubles Grand Slam. Furthermore, as they had already won the gold medal at the 2000 Olympics, they also achieved a career doubles Golden Slam. Together, Venus and Serena have won a total of 14 Grand Slam doubles titles. Behind the 18 titles of Natasha of Erva and 14 of Gigi Fernandez, this is the third most in women's doubles history. 
We also have to mention her winning the Golden Slam at the 2012 Olympics. At the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, both Serena and her sister Venus won the gold medal at the doubles event. At the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, Venus and Serena once again won the doubles against Annabelle Medina Goregas and Virginia Ruano Pascal in the final. At the 2012 Olympics in London, the duo remained consistent in their winning performances, gaining their third gold medal in the doubles event. Although Venus had won the Olympic singles gold medal, Serena has yet to achieve the same feat. In the 2012 Olympics, she beat arch-rival Maria Sharapova 6-0, 6-1 in the final to win her very first Olympic gold medal in the singles event. Serena has therefore won four Olympic gold medals, a record she and her sister have in common. Not just that, but by winning the singles gold medal, she completed the career Golden Slam. This means winning all four Grand Slams as well as the Olympic gold. Serena Williams holds the distinction of being one of the only two women to win a career Golden Slam. The other is Steffi Graf. Finally, Serena Williams has won a record-breaking 23 Grand Slam singles titles, and the way she won her last one will shock you. Serena's success at the 2014 U.S. Open took a number of her Grand Slam singles total titles to 18. This put her on the same level as Chris Evert and Martina Navratilova for the second highest women's singles total in the open era. At the 2016 Wimbledon, Serena bested Angelique Kerber to win her 22nd Grand Slam. She hence equaled the open era record for most singles Grand Slam titles held by Steffi Graf. In 2017, Serena Williams achieved her seventh Australian Open by beating her sister in the final. This is her most recent victory at Grand Slam. We also have to mention this was her 23rd Grand Slam singles title in total. Total. A spectacular fact about this achievement was that Serena was at least eight weeks pregnant during the triumphant win. The 23 Grand Slam singles titles won by Serena Williams is a feat not achieved by any player male or female in the open era. This unique achievement is also the second most of all time behind Margaret Court 24. Time for Serena, the success story. Serena's life is full of career firsts. She was the first woman to make $6 million in prize money in 2009, and the wealth she's made through her god like skills at tennis has only snowballed from there. From 2013 to 2016, she was the first and only woman to earn tens of millions in career prize money. Not only that, but as of 2022, Serena occupies six of the spots on the list for the 15th highest single year earnings. Now we'd love to see someone try to top that. Due to her breathtaking achievements, Serena Williams has won numerous awards. In 1998, she won the WTA Newcomer of the Year Award, and the next year she won the WTA Most Improved Player of the Year Award. She has gotten the WTA Player of the Year Award an astonishing seven times, which is the most after Steffi Graf. Serena has also won the Best Female Tennis Player ESPY Award on 10 separate occasions and the Best Female Athlete ESPY Award on two different occasions in 2003 and 2013. In 2003, with her sister Venus, she won the NAACP Image Award, President's Award. She has also secured the Lawrence World Sports Award for Sportswoman of the Year multiple times. But it doesn't end there. She's named the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year in 2002 and 2009 accumulating close to $29 million. Serena Williams was the highest paid female athlete in 2016. The year after that, she became the only sportswoman to appear on Forbes' list of the 100 highest paid athletes. In 2019, she took the 63rd spot on Forbes' world's highest paid athletes list. While being ranked at 63 doesn't sound good, keep in mind that Williams stands as the highest earning female athlete of all time. When it comes to prize money across all sports, if you want proof of her incredible talent, look no further than how much she's earned through it. Well, that's a wrap for this video, Serena Williams' greatest feats that have never been broken. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.